In the aftermath of the shootings in Uvalde, Texas, and Buffalo, New York, politicians everywhere are pushing policies to try and stop the next mass shooting. In New York State, Governor Kathy Hochul passed a new executive order. It would create a new unit that will focus exclusively on domestic terrorism and extremism, force counties to perform system reviews and identify threats, use police to monitor social media, and require police to file red flag laws requests to anyone they deem a threat. That one sounds pretty Canadian. Hochul also hinted at tightening New York's gun laws by closing loopholes. But will any of this work? Let's ask that question right now to our next guest, former New York City police detective and good friend of mine, Bo Deedle. Bo, good to have you back on the show. Unfortunately, we have Here. you back in the, after, after these mass shootings. And every time there's a mass shooting, every time there's a tragedy, the left comes out and they come after the gun grab. Um, you know, is there anything, anything they're saying that would make sense to a cop? And a friend of mine just asked me this question. What do cops want? Do cops want more citizens armed or, or fewer citizens armed? Well, it's very, very simple, Eric. Across our nation, in 2021, it was 21,000 murders in America. Of the 21,000, approximately 13,000 were blacks killed by mostly other blacks. This is an ongoing crime wave. Not just that, the robberies, everything that's going on in this country. When you're able to go onto social media and you're able to see convicted felons holding up guns, that's enough that you should be able to get obtain a, a warrant, go to their house, lock the little creep up. Right now, our problem, all of a sudden Biden wants to help, here's how you help. Anybody getting caught with a gun should be prosecuted through the federal government. Let's start prosecuting them on federal gun charges. That will start to eliminate these little uh, liberal uh, DAs in the liberal states. Every one of our Democratic run cities, all have the tightest gun control, but yet more people are getting killed. Brotherly love, Philadelphia, over the weekend, 13 murdered. I think there was 38 murdered across our country, and they lost track. We have a crime wave going on. We always talked about Mexico having 35,000 murders a year. Well, we're catching up to them real fast. We've got to come on this thing. It's not just one answer. We've got to start utilizing this social media, Eric. Oh, I want to, add, but but so I, I kind of just thought of an idea. I think I was around with someone last week, and I said, well, you know, part of the problem is that if you start making it more difficult for law-abiding citizens to arm themselves for defense, then you put them at a disadvantage from the thug in the street that's going to go buy a gun with it with the serial number scratched off. But what about this idea? If you're caught with a gun with a serial number scratched off, you go to jail, mandatory jail sentence for a year. Just you know how many well, times. You, you do a search and you got someone with, a, with, with a, an illegal gun, you don't just take it away. You're going to jail for a year. That, that would even the playing field a little bit, wouldn't it? Well, you know what? We have a federal law out there. If you're a convicted felon and you get caught with a gun, you're going to jail between no, five Bo. and ten years. No, 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 Bo. Bo, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about someone without a record. You want to go be a 15-year-old thug and, and try your, your, your luck out and go buy a gun that's got the serial number scratched off, you get caught, you're going away for a year. I think that would just stop a lot of, a lot of these people who are, who are playing the game who haven't been caught yet. That's fine, Eric. But the fact of the matter is the people getting locked up are repeated felons. They keep getting locked up with guns and guns. You got about three, 4,000 right here in New York. These are the same ones committing the crimes over and over. When a person is arrested five times with a loaded gun, I think we got to put them in jail. And the only way it'll happen is if we start charging with the federal law because our state is doing nothing. You have this Governor Hochul. She's a big joke there. As far as the guns... Ain't the problem here. The problem is the people yeah. pulling the trigger, yeah. and they talk yeah. against cops. Point. You're making a great point. Let's let's start enforcing the laws that are on the books and see what happens first before you start adding new laws that you're not going to enforce anyway. That's a great point. And then on top of it, the way people feel about cops, everyone hates cops. The cops, with the amount of mass shootings across this country, are so minimal with the fact that every day in this country, you've got maybe 30 or 40 people shot dead. This is a mass murder country. We've got to crack it down. We've got to support cops. We've got to prosecute. If we have to build more prisons, let's build more damn prisons. Yeah, build more prisons, support cops, give them a lot more funding, give them all the tools they need to make arrests, and, and back them when they do make arrests, not start charging them with, with some wacky violations when they do actually make an arrest. And well, but answer that one question for me. Yeah. Answer this one question, though. Do, does the average cop on the street 
Is he in favor of citizens having handguns to protect themselves, or do they want them not to have them? I carry a 9 millimeter wherever I go. I am for law-abiding citizens to carry guns and legally carry them. Yes, because I tell you right now, we had on a train, this poor young lady, was her hair was being pulled by this guy. Everyone's sitting around. If I was on a train, I would have taken my 9, put it to his head and say, you're getting off the next stop. One way or the other. I like people to be armed legally, let them train, and I feel as though if everybody has a gun, it's less apt for these little creeps to come and try to rob people like that. Also, with the gun control, Eric, you might not like what I'm going to say, but there's no need for someone to have a 40 or 50 uh, round clip. I think that has to be debated in Congress. There's an even keel here with the Republicans and Democrats. Also, social media background. Right now, it's say everything's on social media. Also, those violent games called the duty and all that, we've got to look at them. We should ban those violent things because every one of these mass shootings, for some reason, they're watching this crap. We should ban those violent videos. Eric, I'm sorry. It's gotten to a point now. I'm scared, and I don't get scared of nothing, but I'm scared what's going on in our society right now. Yeah, both, both packing a nine. And, and by the way, Joe Biden just said he wants to ban uh, nine millimeter guns now, too. I, it's, yeah, well, I, it's Joe Biden doesn't know there, where though. he is. Joe doesn't know where he is, Joe. <laughs> just stay in the basement, Joe. But there has to be a, a, a debate in Congress about guns. And the reality is, guns don't kill people, people kill people. That's right, Bo. Bo Deal, always good having you on. Thanks, my friend. Love you. Me too.